1700s, a lot of the rich people sent their children away to France. And also we had a lot of French people coming over to work here on uh, stonemasonry and design of palaces. So French was very popular. Okay guys, over on the right hand side is Stirling Castle. We've got metal photographs. And storytelling on the well. And also if you look through the front window and slightly over to your right hand side, you'll see a tower which was completed in 1868. And that's what they call the William Wallace Monument. A freedom fighter, a rebel. Um, well, that's what we call them here in Scotland. Um, it started a peasant revolt against the British army here in the late 1290, around about 1295, 1296. And that's the Wallace Monument there. So the Wallace Monument, you've got Stirling Castle. Scotland got the horn and decided to um, <laughs> we had a king called Kenny Alexander the Third, right? And he had a nice new shiny bride, right? Who was in Kinghorn. Oh no, it was here in Edinburgh Castle. And he was in Kinghorn. And instead of waiting till a storm, really, he wanted to get back to his nice shiny wife, right? And instead of waiting, he went in the storm, lost his entourage, and was found at the bottom of a horse with his neck broken. With a horse going, wasn't he? <laughs> he slapped my bum, I farted the hand went over the handlebars and the airbags went off, you know, it wasn't me. Um, <laughs> so that meant there was a bit.